What's up, Brian Tong here, and I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to my LG CX48 OLED TV review because a lot of you in the comments were either complaining or mentioned how you were still worried about burning on an OLED display. And we know that with OLED, right? I keep on talking about you get the deepest blacks with OLED, but also a lot of you complained about burning, which is a completely legitimate issue. Now, just to let you know kind of about my TV background, I own a TCL LCD TV display. I also own an LG OLED from four years ago. And in both of those TVs, I don't have any burning whatsoever. And with LCD displays, this is not an issue with the technology, but with OLED, it should be a concern, but I think the reality is that it's just not gonna be a problem for most people out there, but there are ways to prevent OLED burn-in from happening. So I think there's really two easy rules. The number one piece of advice that I could give you is to, this is almost like common sense, but avoid leaving static images on screen for long periods of time. Something like uh, a paused video game screen that you leave on and forget about, which I have done. And we're talking about like maybe like six, eight, 10 hours straight or even days, don't do that. And then number two, don't watch with the brightness turned all the way up for something that might have static logos on it constantly like a 24 hours news broadcast. CNN comes to mind, they have that big white line right there. And those two rules will honestly prevent most of you from ever getting any burn in on your OLED display. But there's also a few tools that are built into the settings of your TV. Now, on the recent CX48 that I reviewed, you have three things to help you out. There's a feature called Pixel Refresher that automatically happens after you've watched your TV for more than four hours total. On Sony TVs, they call it panel refresh. It could be one hour one day and then four the next, but it will automatically run once you hit that four hour mark total and it happens when the TV is off. So then it will reset its clock to really do it again the next time you accumulate at least four hours and then your TV is off. So it's basically this horizontal line that runs down the screen to prevent wear and tear on the pixels and then deal with image retention. And you hear these words, image retention, burn in. The quick thing is that image retention is different from burn in on an OLED TV. So image retention is temporary. Like I had it once when I did exactly what we talked about. I left a video game pause for I think at least like half a day. And then when I came back, you could almost see this ghost effect of the logo on the screen. And I was freaking out, but you know, it did go away. I didn't know about pixel refreshers or panel refresh at the time. I just turned it off and then prayed and then the next day it was gone. Now, if you talk about burning though, that's permanent on your TV and it might look like a remnant of maybe a news logo in the corner after watching something with the same logos in the same exact place constantly, hours on hours and maybe even into days. So the key thing is that whatever you are doing, just display something different on the TV, I would say every three hours or so. I mean, are you, how many of us are really watching three, four, five, six hours plus constant? I get about a movie, maybe watch some basketball, but once you get that four hour mark, I mean, do something different. Don't, just don't watch the same thing or play the same thing constantly. Now, another feature, uh, at least on LG's OLEDs, is called screen shift. That moves the screen slightly by a few pixels without you even noticing so that the image retention will be less likely. And then there's a new feature that they added on 2018 LG TVs and beyond that my older OLED doesn't have, and it's called logo luminance adjustment. It's fine to keep it on the low setting. And what it does is that when it can detect any type of like static logos, it reduces some of the brightness to help decrease chances of any image retention or permanent burn-in. So I just think that if you're someone that watches TV 24 seven, you have it on that same TV network, you're gonna be at higher risk for burn-in. If you're a person that plays video games and plays the same video game all the time and only one video game, you're probably gonna be at higher risk for burn-in. So if you're one of those two people that I just described, look, there's always LCD display TV options out there if you're that type of user. And in my review, I also positioned at least, you know, the OLED TVs that they're getting so good. I positioned the CX48 as a TV for PC gamers and I still absolutely do. The same rules are gonna apply to prevent burn-in, but I'd also make sure that you have a screensaver running on your PC when you step away from it. Just have it turn on after a few minutes or so. And there's also modifications that you can make to your taskbar as well through third-party software like making it translucent. So really the big takeaway here is be aware of the OLED burn-in issue, but as long as you're watching and consuming different types of content, I think that you should have no problems with it on your OLED TV, but these are just kind of best practices and things to think about to prevent any type of burn-in. And guess what? If you like videos like this, some of these tips, all the videos that I put on this channel, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, subs up, hit that notification bell, ding, and you will get an alert in your pants when my next video drops. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll talk to you soon, all right? Peace.